Italian cuisine will make you forget about dieting. Get ready, because now I'll show you the most delicious Italian dishes. And believe me, it won't be complete without pizza or carbonara. Real masterpieces, from exquisite sandwiches that will instantly elevate your table to unique recipes with chicken? Phew, I think I can already feel my mouth watering. And especially at the end, so you don't run off to cook right away. I'll show you the rarest but insanely delicious Italian meat dish. And I'll start with bruschetta, one of the most amazing and simple dishes in Italian cuisine that is one love worldwide. Once bruschetta was a simple way to enjoy a piece of old bread, but over time, it has turned into a true culinary art. So let me start with the history of this gastronomic wonder. Bruschetta originated in ancient times when meat was a luxury, inaccessible to most people, and bread and vegetables served as the staple diet. Bread was toasted over an open fire and then rubbed with various sauces and vegetables. High quality olive oil will give bruschetta a special taste, and a bit of toasted garlic will add an extraordinary aroma. As for the topping, here the imagination has no limits. Classic bruschetta includes tomatoes, fresh basil, garlic, and olive oil. But you can experiment with various fillings, such as adding avocado, olives, mushrooms, or Italian sausages. Combinations depend on your preferences and the taste of each person. Bruschetta can be enjoyed as a standalone appetizer or as a side dish to meat or fish. It may seem like just a sandwich, but even in really expensive and fancy restaurants, they don't hesitate to add this dish to the menu. Prosciutto is not just dried pork, it is a culinary masterpiece. It is made from the best hind legs of the pig. The key ingredients are meat, sea salt, and thyme. Yes, thyme plays a crucial role. The meat is cured for at least 10 months, sometimes even years. During this time, it gradually absorbs aromas. Prosciutto is loved for its unique, slightly salty taste and tender texture. Prosciutto melts in the mouth, leaving an aftertaste of sunny Italy. It's not just a snack, it's a cultural heritage, each piece carrying the history and traditions of old Italy. Prosciutto is usually served in thin slices. It pairs perfectly with fresh, crusty bread and ripe figs. Prosciutto is often added to salads, pasta, or pizza. By the way, an interesting fact. In Italy, there are entire festivals dedicated to prosciutto. Can you imagine how many varieties of this delicacy you can try there? Well, let's move on to the next dish in my top list. Imagine yourself in a small Italian kitchen where a roll of fresh dough is on the table and each square hides a surprise in the form of unexpected filling. Yes, I'm talking about ravioli, one of the most charming dishes in Italian cuisine. Ravioli is not just pasta, it's art. To make them, you need only a few ingredients. Flour, eggs, water, and a filling of your choice. It can be very diverse from classic cheese and spinach to exquisite seafood or meat. The key is the combination of textures and flavors. Soft dough, made with love and juicy filling hidden inside. It's a real explosion of taste sensations. Oh my god! Ravioli is loved for its versatility and variety. They can be simple and hearty or exquisite and luxurious. In Italy, ravioli is served with various sauces from classic tomato to delicate cream. They can also be served with herb-infused oil, sprinkled with parmesan on top, or adorned with fresh herbs for aroma. Interesting fact, each region in Italy has its own recipe for ravioli. For example, in Lombardy, they are made with pumpkin and amaretti, while in Rome, they prefer ravioli with ricotta and spinach. Ravioli is not just food, it's a journey through Italy through tastes and aromas. Every time you try ravioli, you discover a new corner of this amazing country. And don't forget, it's not only about what's inside the ravioli, but also the love with which they were prepared. Let me tell you a bit about the classic meat dishes of sunny Italy. Chicken Parmesan First, the filet is coated in breadcrumbs with grated parmesan as of dressing up in festive attire. Then, they are fried to a golden crust as if the sun is heating the sands of Sicilian beaches. After that, the chicken pieces are arranged in a baking dish, each row covered with tomato sauce. And of course, generously sprinkled with fresh parmesan and mozzarella, creating a snowy blanket on the red hills of tomatoes. Chicken parmesan goes into the oven, where it bakes for an hour. All the ingredients blend into one, nourishing themselves with simply magical aromas. Chicken parmesan is loved for the combination of a crispy crust and tender, juicy meat, for the play of flavors between the spicy parmesan and the soft mozzarella, for the harmony of tomato sauce, awakening memories of summer days in Italy. 
It is usually served with classic pasta or risotto, or with a light salad, reminiscent of the gentle sea breeze of Sicily. Chicken parmesan is not just a dish, I strongly nice. recommend trying it in an Italian restaurant, or better yet, in the homeland of this magnificent dish. But let's move on. But let's move on, I want to talk about something sweet. A sunny day in Rome, narrow streets filled with colors and made with gelato in hand, seeking shade under an ancient aqueduct. Gelato is not just the local name for ice cream, it's a part of the Italian soul. Made from natural ingredients, milk, cream, sugar, and of course, various flavors, fruits, nuts, chocolate, the main difference between gelato and regular ice cream is that it contains less fat and air, making it denser and more intense. Gelato is loved for its delicate, creamy texture and a richness of flavors. Each spoonful is a little journey through Italy. From the vibrant lemon cello of Sorrento to the delicate pistachio from Sicily, gelato is not just a dessert, it's part of Italian culture, reflecting its history and traditions. Every piece of fruit, every drop of chocolate tells the rich history of this land. And where would we be without it? In a cozy Neapolitan trattoria, where the scents of basil and fresh baking blend with the voices of joyful people, I first tasted margarita pizza. Although it may seem like a simple dish, especially the toppings, real margarita is truly a culinary masterpiece. It is a symbol of national pride. Created in honor of Queen Margarita of Savoy, it represents Italy in miniature, red tomato sauce, white mozzarella, and green basil, like the colors of the Italian flag. It is made from simple but exceptional ingredients. Thin, crispy cut, fresh tomato sauce, soft mozzarella, fragrant basil, and a bit of olive oil. <laughs> yeah, boy. All of this is baked in a wood-fired oven, and in just a few minutes, a masterpiece of Italian cuisine appears before you. Margarita pizza is loved for its simplicity and excellent taste. It is a dish that brings people of all ages and social classes together. After all, there are no complexities or special expenses involved. Italian pizza in general is not just food, it's a cultural phenomenon that unites history, traditions, and gastronomic mastery. In Italy, pizza is served hot, straight from the oven, often on a wooden board. It is eaten with hands, savoring every piece, every bite that tells the story of simple but great things. Although in many countries, they try to experiment with toppings, adding tons of sausage and sauces, to my taste. Margarita is the most delicious pizza in the world. Well, what about carbonara? This pasta is often associated with Italy, along with pizza. I personally love it, so I couldn't pass it up in this list. So, let's start from the beginning. Where do you think carbonara came from? If your answer is ancient Rome, you're not alone in that assumption. But actually, the first mentions of carbonara in literature can only be found in the 1950s. Yes, it turns out it's not as ancient a dish as many think. Let's move on to the ingredients. Have you ever wondered why these specific products were chosen to create carbonara? Black pepper, for example, gives the dish spiciness and resembles coal flakes. Hence the name, from the Italian carbon, meaning coal. And as for the meat, it gets more interesting. In the Renaissance, smoked pork was called carbonara, which may have given Aver carbonara its name. The history of carbonara is full of legends. One of them suggests that this dish was invented by charcoal makers working in the Lazio region. Another version links it to American soldiers during World War II who used powdered eggs and bacon to make the dish. But what makes carbonara so special? In my opinion, it's the simplicity and the magnificent taste. Are you serious? Imagine tender spaghetti in a fragrant sauce made from a mixture of eggs and cheese topped with crispy meat, guanciale or pancetta, and all of this seasoned with freshly ground black pepper. Hmm, my mouth is watering, and you know what? In every corner of the world, carbonara has acquired its unique notes. In the United States, it's prepared with the addition of cream and mushrooms. In France, with white drink, and in Germany, they even add potatoes. Regardless of how you prefer your carbonara, whether it's the classic recipe or a modern interpretation, this culinary masterpiece will remain an eternal symbol of Italian cuisine, uniting lovers of delicious food around the world. Vitello tonnato is a dish not everyone knows about. Too bad, imagine. Tender slices of veal seasoned with a cream sauce that includes tuna. It's a cold appetizer, typical of the Piedmont region in Italy. Making Vitello tonnato is not complicated if you have quality ingredients. The base of the dish is veal, boiled until tender, with sauteed vegetables like carrots, onions, and celery. 
It's then cooled. For a more refined version, the meat is marinated for 24 hours. The most crucial part of the tallow tonnado is the sauce. To make it, egg yolks are beaten with Dijon mustard, a bit of salt, and ground black pepper. Phew. Then an egg emulsion is formed by adding olive oil. Finally, canned tuna, anchovy fillets, and lemon juice are added to the sauce. The tallow tonnado is so versatile that every chef can add their own touch. For example, Chef David's cabin wraps pieces of cooked meat and fills them with sauce, while the great Elaine Ducasse includes the dish in the menus of his restaurants on the Fresh Riviera, adding the sauce as a simple topping. In the classic version, the meat is boiled to reach the perfect internal temperature, giving it a tender pink color. Vitello Tonato can be served both cold and hot, depending on preferences. The main thing is to have a glass of white drink nearby. And what top would be complete without the most famous Italian salad? Caprese, a dish that has become the hallmark of Italian cuisine. I encountered this salad during one of my trips to Italy, and it immediately won my heart with its simplicity and exquisite taste. So let me start with its history. Capri salad, as believed, was first prepared on the island of Capri. One story suggests that the salad was created as a tribute to the Italian flag, while in other claims it served as a palate cleanser for vacationing members of the royal family and important politicians in the 20th century. Capri's is incredibly easy to make. It consists of just a few main ingredients, fresh tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, green basil and olive oil, with balsamic vinegar. These ingredients symbolize the colors of the Italian flag, green, white, and red. Almost like margarita pizza, just without the crust. But like most popular recipes, Caprese has also evolved over time, with new components being added, changes in appearance, and even variations in preparation methods. The salad can be served in different ways, for example, as canapes are in compact individual jars, making it an excellent choice for receptions and picnics. Caprese is also popular in many variations, including fruit or berry recipes, where ripe peaches and strawberries are used with or instead of tomatoes. Even pesto sauce can replace traditional olive oil and balsamic, creating another interesting flavor combination. And as promised, Italian-style meat. Porchetta is not just an Italian dish, it's a whole story. The taste of which makes gastronomy enthusiasts from around the world travel to Italy. My acquaintance with porchetta began not so long ago, but this dish immediately captured my heart. And I'm pleased to share with you what I know about it. Porchetta is a roasted pork roll seasoned with aromatic herbs and spices. Traditionally, a one-year-old pig weighing no more than 100 pounds is used to prepare porchetta, dressed with a mixture of salt, pepper, garlic, rosemary, and common funnel, then roasted on a spit in the oven for two to five hours. But today, in home conditions, pork belly with skin and lean meat without fat, such as tenderloin or shoulder, is often used to prepare porchetta. The most interesting thing about porchetta is its history. It originates from Abruzzo, and in a document dated 157, regulations for the preparation, roasting, and sale of porchetta are mentioned. However, other sources claim that porchetta originated in the town of Poggio Bustana in the province of Rieti. This dish is popular in different regions of Italy, from Romagna to Sicily, and each region takes pride in its version of porchetta. In Italy, Porchetta is not just a dish, it is a symbol of celebration and a treat at numerous fairs and festivals. For example, in the Comune of Costano, the Porchettiamo festival takes place every year, where the best masters present their variations of this dish. Such fairs are meeting places for Porchetta traders, each trying to amaze guests with their skills. The love for Porchetta is easily explainable. It's a combination of crispy crust, aromatic spicy meat, and a tender interior. Porchetta can be served both hot and cold, and it will be equally delicious. This dish pairs well with light salads, fresh vegetables, and of course, a glass of good Italian drink. What else do you need? Italian cuisine is quite simple, but incredibly refined. These folks certainly know how to turn a minimum of ingredients into a global culinary masterpiece. Thanks for watching!